this is the daily pulse from speak my word ministries i'm travis zimmerman i want to talk about one of the oxymorons the contradictions of, of life here on earth and us humans specifically you know and i shared a, a version of this i think last year in a daily pulse but you know how much is too much you know we had a discussion with our children about webkins you know whether it's webkins or it's, it's thomas the tank engine trains you know anything like that we i think it was with trey we were talking hey trey because they had all kinds of weapons. The weapons are so out of vogue right now, but the story is still relevant. You know, the kids had multiple webkins, you know, even some of the same kind, but, you know, in some cases, dozens, plural, dozens. So I asked, I asked our kids, I said, hey, you know, if you, had, if you had 20 webkins, would that be good? Well, Daddy, probably just 21. You think 21 would be good? If, we just, if, if all you could ever have is 21 webkins, is that good enough? Dad, maybe 22. And we, it was comical, and, and Trey caught on very quickly. He's a smart guy, and so you saw where this was going, and how much it more is with us. And that, out of God's word, again, ultimately relevant. There's always something in God's word that's going to be relevant and speaking into your life. And Solomon says the same thing, you know, I'm attributing the book of Ecclesiastes to Solomon, most scholars do. And Ecclesiastes 1 8 says this. The eye never has enough of seeing, nor the ear its fill of hearing. The eye never has enough of seeing, nor the ear its fill of hearing. In Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 8. How much more is that with us? You know, even as, as we consider, you know, you know I'm, I'm a husband of one wife, and I'm a husband of, of, of Suzanne, you know, one of the same, and have children, you know, and is, is that enough? You know, do we, need, do we need another wife? You know, in the Bible times, they had different wives. You know, I have X number of dollars in my bank account. Well, if I have 2X, twice as much as if I had three times as that, four times, would that be enough? You know, if, if I, I literally on my iPod, there's 7,400 some songs on there. If I had 15,000, would that be enough? You know, it's, it's again, it's the human life. We, the Bible says so succinctly and so clearly, the eye never has enough seeing, nor the ear its fill of hearing. So, you know, I, I liken that to temptation. You know, if I just got this, if I just got this, if I just reached this, per, this position of, of responsibility, if, if I just reached this level in my bank account, if I just got this much prestige, if I just got this much land or territory, that would be enough. And that's the folly of it never is. Our eyes are never satisfied nor our ears satisfied. And that's why it is so gratifying and so pleasing and so satisfying to serve Jesus Christ. He is the one Savior. We just need one Savior, not multiple Saviors. We have one God, not multiple gods. We have one Holy Spirit, not multiple Holy Spirits, that walk with us each day. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. We are sinners at heart. God knows that. And that's why he sent Jesus Christ to come to earth to save us from our sins and guide us in the righteousness. Thank you, Father, for the one true God in your name, Lord. Amen.